Hey gang, welcome back to Restorations. Asians, we're here today outside behind my home to do a little expansion and remodel and repainting of my grill pit. Now, I like to grill and I like, I like my smoker. I have my grass grill. I have my deep fryer for deep frying fish. But this year I decided I needed a bigger uh, smoker. So I bought the bigger smoker and realized that it will not all fit on the same deck. So we're gonna do in a six foot by four foot expansion, and then we're gonna reface the entire deck and then repaint everything. So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, this is my grill pit. Built this about three, three, three and a half years ago to hold my my gas grill, which would sit right next to the fence right there. My smoker, which would sit more back here. And my uh, deep fryer there. there. And then I have some countertop space with some hooks to hold my utensils and everything. And uh, it held up pretty well. However, as I said, I bought a new grill. So we are now adding, adding this six foot by four split extension to be able to move the smaller smoker over here and put the bigger smoker on the main deck. Now, while I'm doing this, I also realized I tried to make a shortcut and you're about to see that shortcut was a dumb cut because I was using OSB and I thought I could cover it in uh, bare deck over paint and it would hold up. Well, as you can see, that's not true at all oh it oh oh it completely started to disintegrate about a year and a half ago oh and i said okay i should have used new fencing so during the corvid part when i was building my shed which is right over there and i ran into a deal on some dogwood uh fencing uh, board it was a dollar piece at Lowe's. And so I brought it out and we have stained it, as you can see, a cedar natural tone. Now this color that you're seeing here is redwood natural tone. And then I'm gonna accent it with the cedar natural tone, just as my deck is, is, is exactly the same way as you can see right there. So we're doing a little color coordination. So what we're about to do is we're about to put in the flooring and then we're going to rip off these uh, old boards. And then we're going to give this whole deck piece a power washing to get it all nice and clean. And we're going to reapply the dogwood fencing post. And then and we're going to paint it all up, put the new grills on. And uh, let's say I might do some ribs. All right, so y'all ready for this journey? Let's get to it.
All right, now that we got the decking done, now it's time to stop pulling off these boards. And I can already see this is an older screw. So, hopefully. Oh boy. I got a feeling the sledgehammer is about to come out. Oh, oh. That's a different bit. Wow. All right, as you can see, we're starting to put up the uh, dogwood fencing around here. We already gave this a good power wash, and then, of course, uh, the remnants of Hurricane Elsa came through yesterday and uh, gave it an additional wash, so we're going to let this deck dry out before we be able to apply paint to it so that uh, the paint will adhere to it. We've still got a few more flakes to get off of it. But we're going to go ahead and put up the fencing, as you can see. We already did the corner, so I'm going to make my way out to the end. And then uh, if I have any gaps, we'll just do some trimming of some boards and get them in place. Uh, so, here we go.
boards short. Luckily I have two boards in the in the shop that uh, I can cut. I can cut this one to length and I cut the, the space up front and put those in. Now I can see that over the few years this the deck has moved a little bit um, but also these boards have a little warps in them and stuff so we're gonna have to cut this one to fit. So it's a little wider at the bottom, the hands there at the top, and then we're going to have to cut that one to fit as well. All right now, don't that look 100% better? That dark wood fencing with that cedar natural tone, um, look at it. It is just absolutely gorgeous. I am ready to cook now, baby. I'm ready to cook. Walk around, and now we have that red wood deck, decking. I don't know about y'all, but I, I'm ready to get in here and do some barbecuing. So we're just gonna let this paint dry, make sure it's good and dry. And then uh, when we come back, we're gonna have all the grills on here. Hopefully I got something on the grill. All right, we have come to the end of this journey. And now we got the grills in place. The paint is all dried. And there you see my small pit ball smoker that I started off with. And as we round the corner, we have our uh, propane burner here for doing our fish fries when we have fish fries. And there she is, the beast, the new Pro Pitbulls Pro Series. And I am getting ready to cook on it today. And it's time to break it in. It's been sitting in my garage for, for months. And now we have over here is our gas grill and it's ready to, to barbecue. Our countertops are looking all nice. Nice, and our floor is looking exquisite. Thank you so, all for coming along this journey, and we hope that uh, you uh, got some tips out of here about uh, putting up a little uh, barbecue uh, area for yourself. And uh, please don't forget to hit that like button, share, and, and subscribe to this channel and help us grow. We thank you, and uh, we'll see you next time. It's time to get some barbecue on this grill now. Peace. <laughs>